Hi friends, and welcome to Pre-DevTech. Apple just silently launched the new M5 iPad Pro, the MacBook Pro, and the Vision Pro. But today, let's talk about the star of the show, the M5 iPad Pro. The new M5 chip is a big leap forward. It's up to 6.7 times faster for Pro rendering and four times faster for AI image processing compared to the M1 chip. Here are the Geekbench 6 scores. M5 single core, 4,095, multi-core, 15,468, Metal score, 75,211. For comparison, the M4 iPad Pro scores, single core, 3,671, multi-core, 13,598, metal score, 54,571. That means the M5 is about 12% faster in single core, 18% faster in multi-core, and a huge 38% faster in GPU metal performance. That's a serious graphics upgrade, perfect for video editing, 3D design, and photo work. Now let's compare the M5 to the M4 iPad Pro. First, you'll get the all-new M5 chip with a 10-core CPU and 10-core GPU, though similar in configuration to M4. The next major thing is the all-new Wi-Fi 7 chip and second-generation C1X cellular modem for faster data speed and 5G connectivity, up to 50% faster compared to iPad Pro M4, which had Wi-Fi 6E only. Next major thing, you'll get more RAM, that is 12GB in the base 256GB model, compared to the older 8GB, a significant bump. And you'll also get higher memory bandwidth, around 153 gigabytes per second, compared to the older 120 gigabytes per second. Next big thing, the iPad Pro now supports up to 60 watt charging, which charges your iPad to 50% in 30 minutes. For this, you'll need to buy the all new 40 watt charger, costing around 39 USD. Next, you'll get Bluetooth 6 over 5.3. If you use your iPad with an external monitor, you can now connect a 4K display with 120Hz refresh rate, where M4 supported only 60Hz, though up to 6K display. Now, do you need this upgrade over iPad Pro M4? As all the specifications are almost the same, except for less RAM, a bit slower chip, and slightly slower network, you can get the M4 iPad Pro at a much lower price in the used or refurbished market. Or, if you're on a tight budget, you can also consider the iPad Air, which is almost similar, except for the fancy chip, RAM, or network, which is negligible in iPad usage. You'll only miss the ProMotion 120Hz display, but the iPad Air starts at $599, way cheaper. You can basically do all the same tasks on the iPad Air as on the M5 iPad Pro. Like here, you can open multiple windows, edit images, watch videos, do multitasking, and use the all-new iPadOS 26. You can check out my all-new iPadOS 26 video in the description below.